because we are in the heart of League City, our school lays right here in the heart of the city. That's our goal, is to get the community involved as many ways as we can, and this is one step that we use. Um, the teachers were asked to select students who may or may not have somebody at home that reads with them, um, and so we chose students who could benefit from a mentor relationship, and the teachers did a great job of selecting those students that maybe need a little extra relationship and or time to just read with a grown-up. You know, a big piece to this is the confidence. Um, the motivation to read and the confidence is, is huge. And if we can provide that for those students in the classroom, but also outside with community members, that's important. Well, when I first started reading with her, she was a little shy. She would just eat her lunch and um, really look at the people as they walked by, you know, wasn't really into it. And now she comes to the office and she's like, I knew you would be here. You know, she knows be my name. We talked about what she was getting for Christmas. She tells me what happens in her personal life. She's really taken an investment in me, not only as me and her. So, you know, she tells me her challenges, what she loves and what she doesn't like. And we pick out books together. And she actually sometimes tells me the stories. <laughs> it's like... We eat once and we have fun together. A full year had passed since the lonely old woman and the lonely old man had lost their gingerbread boy. To it's 30 days. minutes a week. You know, I have a lot of things going on, a lot of appointments, but this, this is one I wouldn't miss. It's a lot of fun. I feel good. Really happy. The student that I read with, um, he is a kindergartner and um, he also is learning English and so it's been really fun to read and he likes to repeat words as, as we go and so you can tell that he's starting to to uh, understand and comprehend what we're reading. Just being able to see that he is understanding more and more has really made a difference and uh, just an opportunity to make an impact in a child's life and just to maybe install a, life -learn lo a lifelong love of books. To me, it's about reading in that it can help them to have more exposure to books over time and have that one-on-one -on -one help, but it's more about the relationship and just having someone interested in your life and to know that they're coming each week to ask about how you're doing and that they remember things about you. And I think from talking with some of the volunteers, it works both ways, too. Um, I read with um, the coolest guy ever. He has like this personality that I like about him. I've learned lots of new things and my reading has partially gone up because um, like I used to not be able to read out loud like but now I can do like I've progressed a little bit more so I can read out loud. I know several people that are reading okay as I am and they you can tell that they enjoy doing it okay and they feel like they are being helpful. And I've been with Aiden for a little over a year at this point, and it was a good experience for me. I, I will tell you, I could see quite a difference from when I'd seen him last in May, and then I saw him again in August and September. So yes, he has improved, no question. His name is Brooker, and he's an, I get along with him good, and he's my best reader ever. So this has been fun for me, to be very honest with you. Lots of fun. I love the concept of helping kids reach out and gain a greater understanding of their world. Um, when you're a reader, you become a leader. And when you're a leader, hopefully you're helping the readers to come along also. So. It's working together as a team to provide the support that these students need here at Lake City. Just come see what it's about. Um, we would love it and it would change the life of a child in so many ways. Very proud of the program and, and hope it continues to grow.